afternoon. Good afternoon. God is good. And all the time. Um, we'd like to start our song service, but before we do that, we'll ask our elder Ugeto to give us a word of prayer before we start. that we all stand for a word of prayer. <clears throat> God, our Father, the King of kings, Lord of lords, we thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our creator, our redeemer, defender, and friend, that you'd have us walk into your sanctuary this afternoon on account of gathering to marvel at your witness amid is the pain we have as a family, a fraternity of believers who have come here to witness the parting from this life of our son, our friend, and the sword of the cross, the young mark. Of course, I ask to see you, Lord, as you are, and even as we celebrate this short life. Lord, cause us to see you as someone who is faithful, that we may live lives that are worthy, emulating when our time comes, that those who will be there after us may say, indeed, was a soldier of the cross. Bless each of us in a special way, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. We want to start with hymn number 181, Does Jesus Care? 181, Does Jesus Care? Does Jesus Care? The songs will be projected, so um, we'll just sing along. Does Jesus care when my heart is faint to deeply form a and song as the burdens press and the cares distress and the way grows weary and long? Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief when the days are weary the long nights dreary i know my savior cares he cares does jesus care when my way is dark with a nameless dread and fear as the daylight fades into deep night shades does he care enough to be near oh yes he cares i know he cares his heart is touched with my grief when the days are weary the long nights dreary i know my 
my Savior cares, He cares. Does Jesus care when I've said goodbye to the dearest on earth, to me? And my sad heart takes till it nearly breaks. Is it taught to him? Does he see? Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary, the long nights dreary, I know my Savior. Number 530, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. <clears throat> when peace like a river attendeth my ways, together, when peace like a river attendeth my ways, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my Lord, Thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well, with my soul it is well it is well with my soul with my soul it is well it is well with my soul my sin nor the joy of this glory thought my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross and I bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord o'er my soul it is well It is well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, haste the day when my fate shall be sighed. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound. And the Lord shall descend, even so it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is well. With my soul. Until then, our hearts will go on singing. 632. Until then, our hearts will go on singing. Until then, with joy, we will carry on. My 
My, my heart can sing together. My heart can sing when I pause to remember A heartache here is but a stepping stone Along a trail that's winding always Until then, with joy I'll carry on Until the day my eyes behold the city Until the day God calls Panapali Pam Zurim no together. Panapali Pam Zurim no. Twapaona Kwambali Sasa. Baba Yetu Angoja Pale. Ame Pala Makao Yetu Kitambo. Kitambo. Tutakutana ngambo pale Tutaimba pale kwa moyo Nyimbo tamuza wenye heri Na rohoni hatutaona Tena hata ya kupumzika Kitambo, kitambo tubado Tutakutana ngambo pale Kitambo tubado Tutakutana ngambo pale Kwa baba yetu mkarimu Tutatawa shukrani sana Kwa kipaji chapendo lake Na baraka anazo tupa Kitambo tubado Tutakutana ngambo pale Kitambo tubado Tutakutana ngambo pale Song number 99, the SDA hymnal. <clears throat> be not dismayed, be not dismayed, together. Be not dismayed, whatever be time. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. of toy when your heart doth fail God will take care of you 
When danger speeds your path of sin, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care of you. God will take care of you. All you may need, He will provide. God will take care of you. Nothing you ask will be denied. God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day. God will take care of you. Lean weary one upon his breast. God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. He will take care. times like this, 593. In times like this, in times like this, together. In times like this, you need a savior. In times like this, you need a longer. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. In times like this, you need the Bible. In times like this, oh, be not idle, be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus. The only one, be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. In times like this, I have a savior. In times like this, I have an anchor. I'm very sure, I'm very sure. My anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. I'm very sure. I'm very sure my anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Amen. 
185 SDA hymnal. Jesus is all the world to me. Together. Jesus is all the world to me. My life, my joy, my all. He is my strength from day to day. Without him I would fall. When I am sad to him I go. No other one can cheer me so. When I am sad, he makes me glad. He is my friend. Jesus is all the world to me, my friend in trial so. I go to him for blessings and he gives them more and more. He sends the sunshine and the rain. He sends the harvest golden grain. Sunshine and rain, harvest of grain. He is my friend. Jesus is all the world to me. And true to him I'll be. Oh, how could I this friend deny when he's so true to me? Following him I know I'm right. He watches o'er me day and night. Following him by day and night. is all the world to me. I want no better friend. I trust him now. I'll trust him when life's fleeting days shall end. Beautiful life with such a friend. Beautiful life that has no end. Eternal life, eternal joy, he is my friend. 216, SDA hymn, no? When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more together. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved of God shall gather over on the other shore. And the roll is called up yonder I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the skies, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. 
Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder I'll be One fifty one Nimbos are crystal. We'll do the first stanza of the Kiswahili song, one fifty one. together.
gracious and loving father above we are so grateful because you are a loving god that even in moments like this you still remain gracious patient forgiving and a loving father we want to thank you dear lord for allowing us to gather like this even though we are gathering because of death we are mourning but lord we know for sure you are with us at a time like this merciful savior i just want to commit every soul that is represented here into your hands asking for your presence as we remember the times when mark lived amongst us lord that lord god in heaven we may all be comforted together I want to pray for the especially for the family asking you lord that may you hold their hands and walk with them even as they try to adjust to the loss that has happened dear father i pray may you be with each and every one of us and lord may you prepare us for your soon return as we have been left lord we pray that may you enable us to walk humbly with you as we begin this program today we put everything into your hands and ask that you may lead us as we start till we come to the end for we ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ our lord and our savior Thank you, Master Guide, for uh, what you've done. And I uh, want you, the church, and all of us, the viewers from all over, to know that Mark was a Master Guide and all the rights must be adhered to. That is why this has to be done. We want to let you know that we are here, many families. And as pastors prayed, the heavenly family is here. That is, uh, the heavenly hosts are here because that was Mark's family. And Mark had many families, and I want to ask that all of us as families, may we be comforted uh, with the spirit of the Lord, those of us who are here. Uh, I want to identify these families so that we know who are in. The first family that is here one of the, okay, to start with, is the Nairobi South Church family. Nairobi South Church family, where are you? Thank you so much. That's one of the families that uh, had Mark in their hearts. The Master Guide family. Thank you so much. That is one of the families that Mark was in. The Ambassador's family. The Ambassador's family. Right. Thank you, Ambassador. And uh, thank you in your uniform. Uh, we have the Nkatatoik uh, family that is from Masai land. Have they come? What could talk about Masai? Okay, could be there on their way coming. And uh, if they come late, then after we've left, they will be at home. That is the Masai family where he went. <clears throat> they went for uh, a crusade and people were baptized. We have uh, the university family, the, uh, the University of Nairobi family. Any representative? Yeah, you can see their representatives here. There is another family that said they are coming. That is the Highway family, Highway High School family, where he used to go as, uh, uh, as one of their preachers. And uh, they will be coming in a little while with their uh, school administration. Uh, the Nairobi family where Mark used to stay. Yeah, this is the Nairobi family where Mark used to stay. And uh, finally, the Mark uh, Kamagambo family from home. The Kamagambo family, the Mark's family from Kamagambo. Oh, it's Asumbi, isn't it? It's Asumbi, Asumbi family. Yes, Kamagambo and Asumbi, they are like, to me in my head, they are like the same. Uh, 
Uh, which other family have I remained with? Those are the families that uh, uh, Mark identified himself with, and the last family I want to introduce is uh, one of them not being here, but he sent his tributes, and uh, Pole is Pastor Kefa Matena, who lived with Mark here. So the pastor's family, I have the representatives here, the pastor's family, please. And uh, allow me to introduce them. This is Pastor Nikano Tula, who was one of our pastors here and interacted with Mark before he left to uh, another church in Meru. Uh, Pastor Anthony Mutua has been here and he left the other day, not long time ago, to another church. Uh, he's here with us. And then uh, our pastor, who is currently here, Pastor uh, Bernard Ombori. And together with, uh, with us here is Elder uh, Onditi. And my, my name is Jared Ondiaki. I want to ask the choristers to lead us in one song. How, f how cheering is, how far from home, how far from home. We'll sing how far from home while he's seated, and then thereafter we'll go into tributes. Thank you. How far from home shall we sing? How far from home my answers on? I bent my steps, the watchman speak, the long dark night is almost gone, the morning soon will break. Then we Speed thy flight with hope's bright star, thy guiding ray, till thou shalt reach the realms of light in everlasting day. I ask the warrior on the field, this was his soul. Inspiring song with courage bold, the sword and will, the battle is not long. Then weep no more, but well and do the conflict till thy work is done. For this we know. The prize is sure when victory is won. I ask again, not sea and sun, sing with one voice to make reply. Time's wasting sun, sun in Iran, eternity. Then weep no more with warning tones, potential signs are thickening round. The whole creation waiting groans to hear the trumpet sound. Not far from home, oh blessed thought. The travelers know the heart to cheer, which oft a healing balm has brought and dried the monastery. Then weep no more, since we shall meet where weary fools. 
footsteps never roam Our trials past, our joys complete Safe in our Father's home Much as we are far, we are on earth, we are not far from home. I want to go into tributes, and thereafter, after we finish this group of tributes, then we'll sing the other song, How Cheering Is. We want to start with, uh, we've arranged these groups in uh, the church groups. That is the children, the ambassadors, the master guide, the youth, uh, AWM, AMO, elders. We'll go to highway, and then uh, University of Nairobi will give us a uh, a representative. Well, we, as we start with the children, we want to ask Sister Esther Wings, where are you? Esther Wings? Esther Wings, as you come. After Esther Wings finishes, then we'll have uh, Jack Njoguna and James Amayo will follow. The two will come. One will be talking, another one will sit here as we manage time. Esther, come. Good afternoon, church. Indeed, it's a sad day, and we really do not have words. Our condolences to the family. We thank God for having Mark in our lives, and we thank God that he was doing the work of the Lord. We from Children Ministry would wish to convey our sincere condolences, and we pray that the Lord may give us strength. Amen. Sorry, good afternoon. Um, my name is James Amayo, and I am one of the ambassadors. And it's, it's just a shock to me, as it is to everyone. But Mark inspired many of the ambassadors. He was our amb ambassador leader. And I remember the first time he came, and it was also my first time working with the ambassadors. It was, it was very interesting. At first I was skeptical about Mark. He was very joyous. And I'm wondering, wow, very happy. How nice she doesn't need to connive with the stress and all. And he's like, no, with Jesus in my side, there's no stress, right? And he inspired many of the ambassadors to be who they are. You know, he inspired me to be a leader for this long that I've been. He inspired Jackie to on working and yeah it's really it really hit us but we are so happy that we've spent so much time together with him in events in church seeing him preach to the entire church it was such a blessing and that is all we're remembering for today thank you Good evening. Oh, yes. Good afternoon. I am Jacqueline Juguna. As I stand on this pulpit, I have a lot of memories concerning Mark. <clears throat> There's much to say. There's much to say. I knew Mark uh, three years ago, and when we started working together, we really worked closely. And thank you. 
we really worked closely and he used to tell me faith is the only thing that will keep you going as i'm standing here i want to tell you that <clears throat> mark fought a good fight he really did and i'm encouraging each one of us sitting here we should fight that fight that he did so that's um, when Christ comes to take us home, we'll see him that day. So let us not be discouraged. And these tears that I'm crying are not tears of pain. They're just tears of joy because I know Mark is sleeping in the Lord. Amen. So that should be your encouragement for each one of you. Thank you. Uh, those who worked uh, closely with uh, the ambassadors, and um, yeah, the ambassadors, we could uh, feel what she's feeling because they were one. Okay, let's move. Want to ask uh, Nelson, Nelson Nogalo, as the master guide leader, and then the youth leader, please come so that you immediately. Chebu, Chebu, are you in the room? Chebu. Uh, We'll give him a chance when he comes. Ah, oh, the deputy is there. Wendy, Wendy, are you there? Wendy? Wendy, please come. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, friends of Mark. My name is Nelson Ogallo. I worship in Nairobi South Church. I am the master guide leader. By extension, I lost a brother, a friend who referred to people who he never had any blood relations with. He all called them my brothers. Any other time he would be attending to the sick boy in the house, he would tell me, I can't make it. I have to attend to my brother. He lost his life in the service of other people. He loved other people more than he loved himself. That fateful Friday he traveled from home, coming to serve. He came from home just to make sure that he's together with the pastor who was serving us for the 10 days of prayer. And so I can recount the last moments with Mark up in the guest house with my brother Chebu, who is not here. And as we spoke, we joked a lot. I remember telling Mark, you're yet to see, you're still a young man. And we were joking with him and told him, uh, we used to think marriage is just about love, now that most of us are preparing for marriage. But you told him, kuna kitu inaitwa rent pia kwa marriage. So you have to be alive to those small facts. And Mark laughed out. But the one statement that he kept saying all through, he said, Mimi ni kona mungu peke yake. I do not need anything else. I never knew that those were the last moments with him. At some point, we had lost touch because of being busy. And I remember one time when we were with Anu Ndieki and Mark, I told him, Omaratindi lala inya, you are so lost, young man. What's happening? You need to see your elderly people. And I remember, tukiwa na Anna, I told him, ni watu wadogo, wanatafta watu wa, watu wa kubwa. And he told me, I'll look for you. Because my house was his home. Any other time, Mark would feel stressed. He would call me and tell me, Nelson, can I come over to South P? And he said, be what you And he would eat, talk, and would see him off, come back to South C. One thing Mark never did, he never slept outside home because all his mind was geared towards taking care of Bogi and the other, Dalvo and Ian. He, he wanted to be home all the time. His worries were the boys in the house. Every other day he would say, my family, my brothers are away. He would leave us letters any other time to go and cook for them. Even on that fateful night when he died, he died having cooked for all of them and they had ate. 
And so today, as we gather here, friends, in my heart of hearts, I am giving the last respect to someone I heartily loved. Yes, I loved him. He was a brother. I just learned later on that I went to the same school with a sister, the elder sister. Papecho was my schoolmate. When I was in Form 1, she was in Form 4. And that brought us more closer because every other time he would go home, I would tell him, Salimia Pechua. That's how we call her. Pechi, it cannot look like he's today, but God loves you and your family. I don't want to tell you to be strong, be anything you can be at the moment, but Christ will have everything done at his own time. He says the last enemy that shall be destroyed is what? Is death. And so as we bid bye to our brother today, we are bidding bye to the soldier of the cross. A man that spent his life entirely preaching the gospel. And I think a month to his demise, he had gone for an evangelistic campaign for a week, which saw two souls baptized into God's church. The masses you're, being, you're hearing being mentioned here are not coming because they went there for a tour. They met him as a man of the gospel. He was to graduate in April. I remember telling him, Mark, Raundi, Sikuache. I'm fond with my students. They know that if we start with you, we have to finish it. Whether I'm the director or not, we have to finish it. So I told Mark, we're finishing what we started in 2022. I never knew that he would not make it. I want to thank all of you for coming. In my heart, Mama, Niterewe, Gidoluma, Wachoni, again, Wana Rome, Epolo. I wish you would sing that song, but in the, I know in the interest of time, we at some point we'll sing it even at home. Again, no one at home, again, no one at home, cause no sim locho, Epolo. Again, no one at home, again, no one at home. Yes, Odimbelewa, Gimonia Lotime, a warning in Yonge, Piwang Wanyalo Chuir, Late Nyalo Makoa, Kuyo Nyalo Makoa, Teodichi and Achiel, Marutho Ikonoa, Wana Donch Code Polo. I have no reservations in my mind that it's me who may miss heaven but not Mark. Because I'm remaining alive, I have to pray that God keeps me through his grace to fight a good fight until I get to that point. But the man who rests in that casket right outside there, he fought a good fight. And we hope that that beautiful morning on the shores of the sea of glass, we shall meet Ngome. God bless you so much. Yes, Jebu. The Lord is good. It's a very sad Wednesday. I want to give a tribute to a person I had a very close relationship with. Mark was one person who was always ready whenever you called him upon. We served, I served with him uh, diligently in the youth ministry for for two years, and uh, I remember at a particular moment, we had a, we had a candid conversation where I told him that uh, now I'm getting a little bit older, and uh, I wanted him to take over, and he was willing to learn, and we worked very closely. I remember on that fateful night, on that evening, uh, we had a discussion with some of my friends here in church at around 7.30. We were joking, but he kept on insisting. In everything we said, 
he made a statement that I am with God. And he repeated those words several times. And therefore, I believe by those words that we'll be able to see him again on that bright morning. To the young people in this church, we need to have the zeal that our brother had. He really, he, he not only loved to, to go out and preach, but he had a zeal for soul winning. You know, if you look at many young people who love to preach, they'll always go after the pulpit <clears throat> instead of going for the soul. But he was someone who was different. He loved to go after the soul in the way he lived and in the way he talked because he talked he, he talked he, he walked the talk and uh, to all the young people in this house all the ambassadors and uh, the youth for the sake of our brother in matters spiritual I think we need to rededicate our life again to God. May the Lord bless. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Are we we managing time well? I want to ask uh, the women ministry leader. Is uh, she in? Okay. Sister Ghetto. Uh, Angela. Are you in? Not sure. Then we love Sister Ngus. Please come. Please come. Good afternoon. God is good. And all the time. And even in our situation, God is still. Thank you. It is very difficult to talk about Mark. I do not know what to say, but I trust God will give me something. I knew Mark some years ago. We used to hold some Bible discussion in this church. Myself with few sisters, Angela Ogeto, Gladys Odiambo, Esther Dulo, Esther Chanda, and we usually used to have it at from 11 to 2. And uh, Pastor, the former Pastor Otula who is here, used to take us through. Then Pastor Masese, and lastly, Pastor Mutua who is also here. We call it Night Watch Prayer Discussion. That's when I knew Mark, when a young man came in while you were there at the back of the church praying and he sat very silently then after we had prayed we called him and prayed with him, with him together then Mark said with us that he, he by then he was still in a university and uh, he was doing some stuff from Kamkunji selling some things so that he, that could continue to help him in some few issues on that particular day he went and bought the stuff and whoever was pushing to them, the, the Mukokuteni man disappeared with everything. So he did not know. So he came here for prayer and we prayed with him. Afterwards, now he joined Arabia South Church. I, now I used to see him each and every time. What we can say about Mark is a lot. Actually, the church can testify that Mark served the Lord with a lot of, a lot of compassion. Maybe the master got the pathfinder said, but even ask the adult, whenever there is any need in this church, Mark was always there. In deaconry, Mark used to help so much. Every visiting pastor that was in this church, Mark took care. He could do everything, even cooking for the guest pastors, and they became very close with pastors. This particular day, Mark died. He came from home. 
and arrived in Nairobi on Friday morning. That Friday morning was the day we were beginning our 10 days of prayer. So we talked with Mark through the phone and the pastor, our pastor Mbori, and we had organized how the new guest was going to be welcomed and taken care of. That evening, Friday evening, I was here until very late. After Mark, I've sent Mark to go and bring some stuff from South B in the wholesale, and he brought those things using the motorbike, and we are here with Anu Ndieki, but the Mackenzie, and the Mark brought them, and now he was telling me, I didn't even talk to the new pastor, the guest pastor. The pastor says that today he wants to be given yellow beans and chapos. And mom, I've already put the beans on the jiko, and now I'm ready to make the chapatis for the guest pastor. That evening, Mark was happy, and we were very happy, and we were laughing. I joked with him and told him, Mark, I came to prepare the guest rooms already. I found them prepared already. Then I inquired, Mark, who did this? And he told him, Mama, I usually see how you do it. I did it myself. I was so impressed and told him, I wish I knew your mom. This mom really took care of you, and may God extend your territory. The following Sabbath day, we, were, we took uh, Holy Communion to prison's remand, myself and Esther Dulo. Then we came here afternoon after, after one. When people were coming, they were coming out from the church and they were very sad. I heard one lady saying, hey, this is painful. I did not know what was painful. And uh, I, I rushed to the foyer. I found youths gathering there, very miserable people. I did not know what was happening. Then I inquired, where is the job? They were not talking to me. And uh, Winnie, Odera was also there. Winnie told me, Mom, do you know they're discussing that Mark is dead? Who's who ma Mark? Mark Gani? At Mark Rabong. I don't know how I behaved. Actually, let me tell the church and every family that is here, it is painful. It is so sad, my brothers. The Mark I knew was ready to serve the Lord all the time, every minute. Mama Mark, Moose Mama, Moose. You think of Mark, Moose. Why are you my late? Can you even do my younger mama? Yes, I took me away. Yes, I took me. Even as Mark was sleeping, there was there is God that was watching. Yes, I couldn't go now. We look at my nigg mockote. Mama take. Binya lobo iro kamani ni nyasaji. Nyasaji no minyati mota moywe kani saka. One get late, Mama. I'm telling the mom to get courage in the Lord, because the mark we knew, even us, we do not have that strength. My sister, when she feels like crying, let her cry, because chaplain she says that that is the prayer. Let her cry, Mommy. You are going to get work negi. Nyasaji biro maaki. And that mark that we had in this church and in this world, I believe there is heaven for all of us. But I want to trust that the Lord is served. Let us trust unto the end that we can, we, we can be able to meet him in heaven. May God bless you all. One time, he was serving in the church and even outside. One time, Esther had a child who was a name, who knows Stella Dulo. Stella Dulo was so sick, admitted in Nairobi South Hospital, and Mark himself gathered so many youth and went there. They donated blood for Stella, and Mark himself also donated his own blood. That was the child that we had in this church. May God comfort us. May God comfort everybody. Mama, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ongus. Uh, I want to let you know, as Ms. Ongus has said, it is not easy. 
if you want to cry, cry. Because I can see from where I am, nobody's strong. Let's comfort one another. I want to ask uh, um, Elder Mayo to speak on behalf of the Amo, then Elder Ghetto speak on behalf of the elders. Please, my, my two elders, please come. As Elder Mayo speaks, Elder Ghetto, you can be seated here. Good afternoon. My name is Wilson Namayo. I stand here on behalf of the Adventist men. To the family, Mama, and the family, Moss. I just want to add my voice to what has already been said because the script is the same. Mark went through my class, baptism class, and we used to tell that class, and we still do, that you're all teachers. And indeed, he carried that along with him. And so, he touched people socially and spiritually, across the board, wherever he went. And you can see that Mark took this church as his family. He extended his territory and this became his immediate family. The night before, that was Friday night, around 10, my daughter came running to us. Said, Mark, mom, Mark is trying to reach you and you can't pick your phone. Then I said, ah, you want to call Mark this late? It's 10 o'clock. No, no, let me just call him. Then they called, they talked, they chatted, laughed. Mark told him, I prepared something for the speaker. Do the usual. That was the social bit that he was able to reach almost everybody. If all these people stand here, they have a testimony to give about my brother. Men are the spiritual leaders in their family. And indeed, as a true man, he led in the scriptural teaching in this church. During the lockdown when we were on online studies, I spent most of the time watching Mark here, taking us through the Bible study. It gave me such a big joy. When you see a student who has gone through your hand, going through the scriptures, and ministering to his fellow believers, indeed that was a joy. It's a testimony, his life was a testimony. We can sit here and talk all day long. But I want to close with a word from Isaiah chapter three. Verse 10 says, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. For they they shall eat the fruit of their labor. Hey. 
is to say it is well it is well we are so it is well good afternoon Mark was young enough to be my grandson, old enough to be my friend. <clears throat> he was actually my friend. The day he died, he called me twice. He wanted to see me, but I was in town for a meeting. <clears throat> So then I asked him, Mike, what's the worst that can happen if we don't meet today? He said, no, Elder, nothing will go wrong. Let's fix it tomorrow. And so later, I linked up with my wife <clears throat> and we were headed home. But then a guest speaker had just arrived here and on getting to Madaraka, we figured out that uh, there was no pastor here, nor an elder to receive him. So we decided to drive in here. It was very late. So I met <coughs> Sister Esther Awing out here and two other people uh, to come in and uh, be ministered to by the guest speaker what arrived. Um, the Nondieki, El Nondieki told us that uh, the link is not being available tonight and therefore it will make sense to ask the guest speaker to speak to us at 7.30 virtually so that all of us can gain. So I went upstairs, I met this guest speaker, we prayed together, and with him was Mike. Mike was there with a friend of his, a young man who was today to USA University. And then uh, I told Mike, look, uh, I'm going, but let's keep our date for tomorrow. But tonight, give this guest speaker the best meal best way you know how. And I was busy in the kitchen trying to cut onions and the rest of stuff to prepare a meal. So I went my way. The rest is history, my friends. Uh, the next day you know the story. But all I want to say is uh, Mike used to come home with uh, a queen in a young girl called Irene Magoma. We were tied, we, 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 we had planned things, we had planned things, we said how it could be, and we were praying about it. Also looking for employment, there's something we were doing for him, it wasn't to be. Young people in this church, you are precious to us. You are the only heritage we we can have for this church. At his age, he has done all that uh, he could do. No wonder it has been said that it is not the number of years you live, but the quality of life you live in the years you live. You can be 70 and have no mark in your life. You can be as young as Mark and uh, you do a phenomenal job for your master. We pray for you. I can see young men who have come from highway. These are the lives he touched. It's an imprint that walked into their hearts long for the day they will meet Mark in eternity. So thank you friends for coming to mourn the sword of the cross was gone before us. Let each of us prepare because we'll soon 
one by one, if Christ couldn't have come, it won't be Mark going again, it will be us. So when we go, how shall it be with us? Be blessed and be strong in the Lord. And we are told, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of what? His saints. Be blessed. Uh, thank you, Elder Ogeto and everybody. Thank you. Welcome to uh, the Highway High School, where Mark was uh, one of our pre or your preachers and a representative of our church. Uh, what I'm seeing from here and what all of us are going through reminds me of a song that has been sung by some members from, I think uh, those are Tanzanians. They sing a song of a city in Nain where a child had passed away and the entire city was crying. Then every street people were crying and they were asking the Lord, what will happen? And thank God that he came and the sun was risen. The time between they were crying and when Christ came, there was some time, isn't it? We do not know how long it will take for Christ to come, for we are crying. He'll come. Mark will be resurrected someday. I uh, want to call uh, <coughs> Highway, much as you've just come. It was you came at the nick of time. Please come as uh, this as you present a song, and we'll give one of you to say something. While they are coming, I know there are many. I want to ask Mark from Agorosari. Now, Mark had too many families. Mark from Agorosari, please come and say hello to uh, just greeting the congregation. Mark, where are you? Mark, a fellow student with Mark at Agorosare, is he in? Ah, Mark, you're here. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in the interest of time, I'll be very brief. Uh, just like one speaker had said here, it is very, very difficult to, to mourn a uh, Mark. Because um, Mark was a great person. He was my uh, classmate back in high school. That is Agorosari High School with my colleague here. Mark was a great person, a warrior of Christ. When Mark joined Agorosari High School, he was not a very staunch Christian. But when he left, he left when he was the chairman of SDA in Agorosari High School. He worked really hard for the Lord, something we've seen up to when he was uh, leaving us here. It pains me so much when a young man dies. When a young man dies, a dream dies. It pains me so much. I've been battling my emotions and my, ment and my mental health, trying to convince myself that Mark is, is not dead. It's not easy. It has not been easy indeed. But I pray that uh, God gives us strength to go through this. God, give us, God gives us... Um, and enough uh, strength to endure this difficult situation. Otherwise, may God bless all of you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, church. Uh, my name is Hans Osi. Uh, um, Mark was my head boy my, in, back in Agorosari and my classmate as well. So. I lost a very dear friend and my leader as well. So let's just be together. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm the patron of the SDA group at Highway Secondary School. I'm Teacher Lucy. We have known Mark since last year. That is the time we met. I came to Highway last year. We have been with him for the short time that God has allowed us. When we got the news, it was not easy on us. I received the news at lunchtime. And for sure, I was not able to relay the news to the boys. I went home thinking that it is not true. But when I was on the way, I could see even the post on the Facebook, and it clicked in my mind that it is true. So when I came back to school on Monday, the boys came, they had already got the news, and they were coming to confirm whether it is true. And I told them that it is. So for that time, we have been mourning because Mark was a very dear brother to us. Anytime he would come to highway to preach, I would be at peace because I knew the boys are well taken care of. Sometimes we would talk on phone, and when he tells me that he's coming to highway, I would feel that I'm at peace. Even if I'll not be there, I knew that things will run smoothly. The last time we were with Mark was on the 4th of December. He came to worship with us at Highway. We really spent a good time with the Daniels. And I could even remember the sermon that he gave on that day. It is sad that we don't have Mark to be with us anymore, but we accept God's will, and we also pass our condolences to the family. I will invite the chairman of the group to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Onyango Stephen, the chairman of uh, the group, as Malima has put it. Uh, what I can say about Mark is uh, that, to me, there was no youth, maybe whom I've met, who would look like Mark, because I knew Mark in the last three years when I was in Form 2, and um, he came to school. 
and uh, by then he was uh, still a student at uh, University of Nairobi. And uh, I can vividly remember how we convinced him to come and uh, do his uh, attachment at highway, and he was very pleased, and uh, he came. Through that, we had a number of interactions with him, and uh, I can say, through Mark, uh, the highway as a whole has uh, received a change because not only uh, Christians or SDS, even the Muslims were very interactive with Mark. In fact, when the news was broke to us, a number of Muslim members came to me and asked me whether the news is true. But I told them, since I've not yet confirmed, let me not lie to you. Personally, I will really miss Mark because I remember at some point, at some times back, I used to come to this church and Mark himself could receive me outside the gate. Mark would hug me and tell me, bro, welcome. I could feel at home. And now my question is, if we'll ever come a day that I will ever come back here, which I know I'm all, I'll always be because this is our mother church, will ever someone show that love to us? Mark was not only a teacher, but a mentor to us. And uh, I can say that wherever his soul has gone, let it rest. And in the, in the day that we all shall follow him there, may we meet him and praise the Lord. Thank you for your time. Thank you, uh, the students of IWA, with your uh, matron. We want to, if uh, people who build this wall was built during corona period, this wall, they will remind you that all the flowers planted around the wall, it was Mark's work. And if some clips were played here, you will see him almost all over, and which we do not want to do because it will cause it will cost much. I want to ask, uh, have three slots now to, so that we move to the next one. I want to ask the UON, please come, a representative. While you are coming, I want to call Irene and your team, please come here. But then, thereafter, ambassadors will give us a song, then we go to the family. UON, a representative? Or uh, you changed your mind? All right, if you are not sure, you can stand up, all of you, and wave to us. We move. If there is, please come. how he knew the scriptures and all the LNG white writings. Uh, we will sincerely miss Mark because our Fridays with Irene would be very good because he would come over to South B and he would help us make chapatis. But we are left with our hope that we will meet Mark on that bright morning. And us as Christians and as friends, we need to work towards getting to heaven. And that is emulating what our brother Mark was. Thank you.
God is good all the time. Yes, the Lord is good. My name is Irene. Uh, it is sad and hard to open a new chapter when you are very sure that the person you loved is not in the next page. Nevertheless, the journey has to continue. It is with confidence that I stand before you to testify that Mark loved God. He was really a gentleman, a hero as fallen. Uh, I believe God prepared Mark for this, especially in the year 2021. I can count the days that Mark was not in church and maybe doing something related to uh, church. He gave his best to serve God and humanity. Uh, when I got the news, I had so many questions to ask God. But the Bible reminds me that God is always good and his plan is perfect. His thoughts are not mine. So I rest my case and let his will be done. As a church, let us serve God genuinely as he did. Of course, all of us can testify how Mark served God. Uh, one of the moments maybe we interacted with him and any time we had a disagreement with him, he could come to church first. He could come, I know, yes, he loved to cry. He could cry to God. And when he comes back, we could solve all our problems. And uh, so as a church, let us serve God genuinely as he did. My prayer is that he may create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me, that I may continue with the work that our brother are left behind. To the highway community, uh, you are not left alone. We'll still come and support you. And it's my prayer that all of us may work for the Lord and may we be taught to number our days. May God bless you.
rushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. Gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. All the way my Savior leads me, all the fullness of his love, perfect Good afternoon, church. The Lord is good. Even in moments like this, the Lord is still good. Uh, I'm James Onditi, a servant of the Lord in this church. I'll bring to us the family. It is not easy. Um, moments like this are very sad and painful and aching. Mark, uh, in this church, you would, uh, in most Sabbaths, you would see him come in um, around three, having served elsewhere. And uh, Mama Ongus and uh, S Sister Esther Dulo, you would think those were his real parents because every Sabbath they were either together or they had just come from a mission together or they were consulting over something together. It was very rare on a Sabbath to find that Mark was not speaking to Mama Ongus or Mama Esther Dulo. And that's something um, I noticed. On that Sabbath um, afternoon, when the news came to our church, uh, Nelson Ogalo, I was ministering here with the pastor, uh, the speaker of the day. We went to the preparation room after the sermon and Nelson came uh, weeping. And before long, he was mourning. And uh, it was clear that something was not right. He was not able to express himself. He kept weeping and crying. And when he wanted to speak, it would not come out, Nelson Ogalo. And then we said, let's pray together. And we prayed together. And that, that's when he told us that Mark has rested. The family does not know yet, but we are working out our way to let the family know about this issue. Uh, Mama, most mothers, if it away, we maintain to do on. Mark ne duongi timbe ne giki te ne nyathi mero nyasai. To nyasai mano iye mondo nindi bro teloni bro riti bro kungi. Kendo bro kwangi, bed manaki makori kwame, bed manaki jachir, nyasai ungeyo, wanto gik mukonyalo bedo no bwagoa, to nyasai mane polo to no ungeyo, gik mukoka di timore, kendo sama nagi di timore, bed managi chir, nyasai bro telo ni kendo bro kwangi, kikiwe nyasachi, make, kituri kwame dalo duto, kikwae kipenje watch, o bro telo ni, mane alamna. With those remarks, allow me to pass uh, condolences from some of our elders who are watching online and they are together with us in this um, uh, service. Elder Thomas Ontiri served with Mark here as our first elder and he said that we pass his condolences to the family. 
Elder Arunga, we spoke as late as last evening, very concerned about the processes and the plans and guiding on what needs to be done. And he also passed his condolences. Elder Dan Orua, who is out of the country, also passed his condolences to the family. I'll be bringing to us the family um, of Mark to, to speak uh, and to share some of their thoughts. It will not be easy. It is not easy. But we pray that may God give you the strength. Now this is to the family. Song 99. Be not be dismayed, whatever be tied. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. Through days of toil, when your heart is almost failing, like now, remember, God will take care of you. All your needs, he will provide. He will comfort you. He will take care of you. Remember, God will take care of you. Lean not on your own understanding, but lean on his breast, because God will will take care of you. Amen? May God take care of you. Allow me to bring to us and request that Sister Lona Orori, uh, a family where Mark lived, a family which sacrificed to have Mark stay with them, to also come and just share a word. Karibu sana. Good afternoon, church. My name is Alona Kwamboko Rory Said. Uh, I am Mark's mother. I have stayed with Mark from the time he came to Nairobi, which was his first ever visit to Nairobi. And to me, God brought Mark into my life. And the same God is the same God I'm going to lean on to show me the reason he had to take him at such an early age. Until today, I have never met Mark's family. I am seeing them here today. I have treated Mark as my son. I have seen very many students of Asumbi come to my house and go to university. Unfortunately, I live and work in Uganda, so all my interaction would most of the time be over the phone. And every time they call me and tell me the youth are looking for a place to cook, mommy let us allow them to cook from home. And I would say yes. He brought love to my family. He showed us the way of God. And I have no doubt that he's in heaven. Praise God. Let us hope that his soul is going to rest in peace. And the same loving God shall show us favor. Thank you. We now would want to ask uh, Mark's brother-in-law, Wycliffe. Is Wycliffe with us? Yes, please come up front. As Wycliffe comes, Elder Jerry can also come and sit here, so that after Wycliffe, Elder, you just take over. Wycliffe at Young. Is Wycliffe here? Please come. Thank you. Good afternoon, church. It is not easy, but uh, we have to be strong. Because uh, where we are not strong, we can't make it. I can remember that Friday evening, we are at home, and the sister was telling me around Around, five, around 11, they were chatting with Mark and they were sharing a photo of their late dad. Then she told me that she's tired, she's going to sleep. Early in the morning, we were to prepare to go to church. 
but she left the house going to church very early, not as usual, around 7. You know, my leave around 8.30 going to church, but that day she left around 7. Then I told her that I'm not going to church today. I'm feeling tired. So I was sitting in my bedroom. I was listening to some music. There's the hymnals. Then um, around 12 noon, I received a phone call from home asking me to confirm if Mark is dead. I think I got confused. I had to thought twice. She was in church. So I had to go to church to pick her. It was a struggle. Because uh, when, when, when she met Mark, Mark was alive. They chatted yesterday night. Mike was okay. But I think the, the mom was not feeling well. She thought there was something wrong with the mother. But I insisted, no, let us go home. After that, I don't know what came to her mind. I had not broken the news. And she asked me, Mark is dead. Then I said, yes, Mark is dead. Then again, I had a call from home, asking again to confirm. Then I said, no, I've not confirmed. I'm looking for Hyrene's number to confirm because Mark's line, nobody's receiving. Then Irene was also not picking the call. Later on, she picked the call and she confirmed to me that Mark is dead. After that, I just found myself booking this GR. I told them, going to Nairobi. Let's talk later. So on the way, the, the hospital refused to give uh, Irene the notification of death. So I had to confirm, I had to contact my brother. My brother had to go and pick it. Reaching in Nairobi, I had to go to the hospital direct, the casualty, to confirm what happened. I was taken through the file. They told me Mark arrived at the hospital at 3.30. Admitted, uh, it, was the, it was being admitted around 3.45. They took him for CT scan. They called doctors, around five doctors, concerning Mark. And every doctor gave a comment. And all, all of them recommended for theater. So when Mark was being prepared for theater, around 7.18, Mark passed away. So from that point, they could not give me more information. They told me to get the authorities or follow the hospital procedures for them to give us more information. So I asked them, uh, any contact of the person who brought Mark here? The doctor told me no. There's only one person who left in contact, but he doesn't know the driver who brought him in. That's what we have. So I proceeded to Muchari. I found him lying there with a knife on his neck. From there, I met Irene and the team, Ogal. Jeremy, then I, Irene gave me Mama Yan's number. When I called her, she told me she's at a killer police station. She was recording a statement. 
and she confirmed to me that they were picked that day in the morning. They were recording statements at Akela police station. And today, as we speak, the police is doing some more investigation on what took place on that day. But uh, the only thing I can remember, the OCS told me that uh, she has heard about Mark, how she loved God, but uh, some of us remaining today, we need to ask ourselves, why are we still alive? Because the good people are going. Why are we still alive today? Because the servants of God are resting. She told me that we are still sinners. That we need to do more. More than what we are doing today. I knew Mark more than 10 years ago. I can remember when Mark was sat for his uh, KC, KCP. They sat with their sister, but all of them could not join Form 1 by that time because there was no school fee to cut off for the two at the same time. But I advised him to repeat Class 8 to allow the sister to proceed to Form 1. He accepted. He went back and passed well. He was called at Agoro Zare High School where he joined his Form 1. He went through Agoro, then joined the University of Nairobi. And that's Mark. Each and every person Mark was coming across, he had to leave something, a certain Mark in you. The last time I talked to Mark was that, I think it was on a, a Thursday over the phone, then he traveled on the following day. He normally talked to, the, to my sons and daughters, but he insisted that day that he wanted to see them. But I told him to come to Mombasa and see them. But this never happened. He had a lot of uh, hopes and in life and good promises in his own life. And he's a person of his own kind. All the time I see Mark, he always discuss about the Bible. Sometimes as I can go to church and I can report to him that today your sister did not go to church. Can you call her? Call her and uh, add, encourage her to come to church. And she can testify for you that Mark made that love church. But uh, we can say a lot about Mark. He's not just a brother-in-law, but he's, he was a brother. Of which I've lost a brother some things we plan as a family, but they don't come to real because the time has come to an end. We are going to miss him, but uh, you can see me strong, but I'm not strong, I'm weak. Because I realize that if, if I become weak more, 
I can make I can make a lot of mistake and this family cannot have hope it is now two weeks the journey is not easy it is very hard it is very hard I can assure you that the family I have seen Mark today, I called the sister the other day, but she refused to see her. Lastly, I'm going to thank the Nairobi South alumni all groups who have participated for this journey to make Mark to rest in peace. I've been coordinating with the church, burial committee, and they can confirm to you that the journey is not easy, but the hope we have that Mark is going to rest in peace. And as the church of Seventh-day Adventist, we have, not, we have not lost a human being, but we have lost a mind in this church. Let's all behave like Mark. Let's all our children behave like Mark. I'm happy to learn about several colleagues that Mark had trained to become vegetarians in this church. When you walk with them, they are telling you that Mark taught them to become vegetarians. But now I think they are going to take the roots the Mark was using and let them also make others become more vegetarian than the way Mark left them. I hope you are going to meet at home. We make him rest in peace. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, my name is Arelda Jerry Omulo uh, from Gataka SDA Church on Gataronga East District. But I'm also a family member of Mark, a cousin, and also the chairman of this burial uh, funeral arrangement. Uh, I want to take a few minutes because time is overspent. And most of the things have also been said, I may only do a repetition. But let me say this. In our family, including my father, we rarely, rarely cry. Even my father, when my, my grandmother uh, died, my father was just doing ee, ee, but there was no tears coming. But for this one, death of Mark, my tears have been rolling down every time. And today, I saw, I saw Mark carried up, lifted up by master guides. And I knew that truly, Mark, you are gone. And then I said that I will not go to Mochari, I will come direct to the church. Let me say this, that Luke 12 of 2, says that whatever is done in darkness shall be revealed. So if Mark was killed at night, this one will be revealed. Revelation 21.4, all tears will be wiped because everything will be made new. So mama, nyasai mambro uh, I want to thank uh, Nairobi South Church. You are very unique people. We did not know how to start this, but throughout how we have moved on, 
through leadership for Eldon Dieki, Elder Evans, and uh, our able pastor here, and a great church member here, we can now say that we are set to go. This uh, burial, everything is unique and everything is happening for the first time. Even the church here were telling me some things they are doing for the first time. We are also doing things for the first time. But even this death was a unique one. I've been a police officer before I moved to my current, what I'm doing currently. I investigated murder. I collected people who were killed. We have never seen something hilarious like this. Very cruel. Mark was hit several times. And after that, he was stabbed by Swiss knife. And that Swiss knife had a hook. These ones are professional killers. Because had a hook that it could not come out ordinarily. It had to go delicate surgery. So that one is also something which is very unique. But let me say this, that a soldier has gone. Very loving to God, courageous, a leader, a true servant of God. I see life of Mark and Jerry here, and I see that even me, elder, there are some things I should be learning from them and living the life they are living. So that's okay, he is gone. Case is now pending before police. Let us not uh, come with uh, all these uh, theories. Let police finish the work and then they will tell us what they have found. I want to say that uh, let us still continue to be friends as families. Uh, Mama Ian, let us still continue to be friends because uh, for me, when Eliana is talking, when Perpetua is talking, when the mother here is talking, they are saying that they were great friends and Mama Ian uh, has done uh, to mark well. So let us uh, just continue that way. And I think, Elder, with, the, um, with our able pastor, before we leave this place, you may bring us together as a family. We shake hands. We talk together so that it is known that there is nothing that is between us as at now because police is doing investigation. But also, even if it were to go that, um, that extent, uh, that um, the uh, suspect who is here and who is in custody to be found. Everybody who is doing this crime, they are born of mothers and fathers. So no such a thing can then be family and family or community and community. No, we are very, very open and uh, kissy family, you are welcome at home. And uh, this is a, um, a funeral that has found us together. I know I have some sacks of omena to go and cook for my visitors, but you can give me some matokes. You know, Kisis also will be coming there, so they like matoke, but we don't have matoke. Omena is already there. So let us join hands together and do it. Finally, and to our final is that um, let us have unity of purpose. Let this be opportunity for spreading the gospel. And let somebody uh, among the youths, uh, you continue to know that time may not be on your side. So if you are not very serious the word of God, just remember Mark. He was with us here the other day, he is no more today. So that we can continue to, continue to be serious. I know when we are finally at home, there will be a serious night vigil uh, for just preaching the word of God, singing, and the testimonies. So you are highly welcome. Let it con be continuous uh, prayers, even for this journey, because we know that all will be well. Thank you, you are welcome. Erokamano, no way ten mark. Kum weche musewacho, weche majiwo chun, kendo makeloji kanyakla. Thank you for the words of reconciliation that you've spoken. The words of peace, the words of love. May God bless you. As we now welcome Mama Mark to come. Tiwacha wacha, gikaka chunyi, kaka nyasayo keti, kinyalo. Kotami, bendewana wera wera. 
Yeah. I can see she can't uh, make it. Choristers? Yes. Choristers, come. No. First stanza of 5.30. First stanza of 5.30. Good afternoon. I'm called Eliana. I'm Mark's second sister. Mark was our only brother at home. And to me, Mark was my best friend among my siblings. Everything that Mark did, he always told me. Even by the time there was a breakup between him. There's a time he had a Maasai girl. Mark really loved crying, just the way Irene said. He really cried. You will get a very good an Adventist girl. And that's exactly what he was looking for. I have been, like I knew, South Sea, South Church, I would only come for Mark's wedding because it is something we had really planned for. It is something that I had prayed for. And my brother was very happy. Irene, I always told you, you have really made my brother very happy. Mark was very happy with you. And as a family, I hope you can always say, we loved you a lot. And still, we can be just friends. Mama Ian, we have never met you, but to me, Mark have never told me anything bad about you. In fact, I quit a second mom, my mom in Uganda. Mark loved you a lot. Even though whatever has happened to Mark happened in your house, maybe it was not your fault. Yeah, we should not blame you. You have helped us a lot. And maybe someone might ask, Sai Watangea, where were they? Mimi yonde huwa na jibliza. Walikuwa wapi? When Mark finished from four, in fact, Mark was just sponsored, and the day he was sponsored, he was very happy. Akafura Isana, he joined high school. That's where he met Ian, met Mama Ian. And even when he was still in high school, Mark told us, eh, hey, we Mama Mkisisi Ananipenda. Because Mama Ian used to do everything for them equally. Kama ni shopping, alikuwa nafanya what? If it is visiting, he visited all of them. And that's why when Mark finished high school, 
She called her over. It was Mark's first time to be in Nairobi. I have never heard anywhere Mark complaining about her. So even me, Mama Ian, I don't have any complaint about you. Whatever has happened, has happened. Whoever did it should carry his or her own cross. Cindy or Mama, you have helped my mother a lot. And when I say that, I hope you understand. And we had become very good family friends. And just when we were at home, I asked Mark about Ian. You can remember they had a misunderstanding before. So I asked Mark, And he told me, Ah, to we can pray together. And I was very happy. Nikamambia sawa sawa. Kama mkosawa, then it is okay. Mark was a God-fearing man. E mpaka mimi nilikuwa na shanga. Does really Mark really belong to this world? Because Mark, everything that he did was everything that was written in the Bible. And everything that he read from the Adventist books. Paka mimi nilikuwa na muambia. Your faith, mimi siyezi fikia. Kuna wakati alikuwa menipigia. Haka niambia, eh, elinya thiwa. Beadi timo penj, when he was in UN. Nika muambia, Iyo pesa yote tutaitua wapisai. Because me, I didn't have a stable job. In fact, I've been looking for a job for the last 10 years. Ata nikiandikuwa na TSC juzi, when I was going for the interview, I told him pray for me. Because I always believed when Mark prays for me, everything will go well. Nika mwambia hiyo pesa tutapata wapi sai. Na kanembia unajua nisipulipa hiyo pesa. Sitafanya mtiani. So I will not graduate. Nika mwambia basi hiyo pesa. Tutaitafuta. Na kanembia. Always have faith my sister. Faith. Hiyo faith sai naitua wapi. Who will encourage us? Who will pray for my family? Who will remain with my mom? My mom always knew. Even Mark was in Nairobi. Anajua Mark yuko. You know, it is very difficult when you only have one son and he is no more. And I pray. Mama, nyakusoku, enmana nyasai, nyasai mabumia wateko. Nikech an, I'm really at broken. I can't believe Mark is no more. Because on that night, tuli chat mpaka sanenena. So when I went to church, Nambiwa Mark is dead. How? And the, you pastors are saying, to see Uliza Mungu Maswali, Mimi Nita Muliza. Because Mark served God. People talk of miracles. Kwa niyao miracle. Izo miracles Mungu wanafanya nani? Or does it mean, if you are a servant of God, in the time of need that he needed God the most, I will ask that question, hata kama munasema sina imani, why did God abandon my brother? Because that was the time that Mark needed him the most. Mark needed a testimony from God. I said, this was going to happen to me, but because of God, it never did. So pastors here in South, in Haitwa, South Church.
Taka leo mniambie. Does it mean if you are a servant of God God cannot do for you a miracle? Does it mean these testimonies that people give in church why didn't God allow my brother to have a testimony so that my brother could testify my brother served God faithfully yani faithfully sija waiona eh people can say that mark will rest in eternal peace yes i am very sure of that that if there is heaven mark has really gone to heaven and i'm just praying that i may also emulate everything that mark used to do all the teachings that mark had taught us all the ways that mark has told us to live he used to tell my mama hata mtu akimkosea eh mama yao donginja kristo when you away Mark loved even people who never loved him. Paka nilikuwa namwambia sasa wewe hata watu wenye wakupendi why do you love people? Yaani uwe ni nani? But what I know God will give us an answer. God will comfort us. And I want you South Sea member South what? South Church. Please pray for my family. Nyinyi mtazika nyinyi mtaenda ni sisi tutabaki pale and we are the people who understand what it is at that home and my mother always remain there alone all by herself sasa atabaki tu na ile kaburi ya babangu na ile ya mamangu i don't see hope for tomorrow but maybe god will give us hope so that we might see hope for tomorrow i want to thank you very very much from the bottom of my heart you have really helped us a big deal a very big deal and i've realized it is always good to be in church ukiwa kanisani huachiliwi utashikiliwa mkono this journey ya mark wanangu ametusaidia sana so i can't siezi nikamsahau he has always supported mark vile anavyoiweza he has loved my family na nataka kumwambia leo my mother does not have any more son he is the son who is remaining I want you to take care of my mother. Akue kama Mark. Mamangu asije akafeel that gap that has been left by Mark. Wiki. Please take care of my mother. God is good and all the time. So I'm going to be Beatrice. Mm -hmm. uh, all I can say about Mark, Mark alikuwa ananipenda kabisa tena zaidi. Getting a brother stepping down for you to join form one, it's not easy. Aliniacha nika join. Na ai kuishi hapo. When I completed my form for in 2015, I did not qualify for direct entry to campus. He used to tell me BT you must go to a good college. Lazima ufanye ile course nzuri unataka. And I used to tell him Mark where will we get that money? Alikuwa ananiambia BT kwa na imani. Nyara don't have faith. So late last year 
he confirmed to me that this year I had to join a college. And even when he came for a funeral for our uncle, he told me, you just stay, have faith, I'm figuring out how you will go to school. Alikuwa na imani atapata kazi na tanisomesha. But kwa batimbaya, amelala kabla atimize hadi yake. And we talked to Mark on Friday, alisafidi on Thursday night. Wali toka wote, the two sisters left, mimi ndiyo nilibaki peki yangu na mam. So asubu yake yu Friday, akatupigia, in fact, he called through my phone, akaniambia, nyaradwe ni mefika vizuri, nililala kwa Irene, lakini nishenda kwa mama Kayan, naenda kanisani. So we were also preparing for the Sabbath. Nikamwambia uda dwen I'm busy tutaongea baadaye. Lakini sasa si atukupata nafasi ya kuongea. Manake mama alikuwa mnyonge mnyonge ile unique. So I was also worried about my mom. So atukuongea. Kesho yake mama hii anakapiga kwa simu ya mom. Mama kanipea kaniambia biti hebu usikize mama Kayana anasema nini akaniuliza kama mama alikuwa na shida ilikuwa na msumbu akitoka nyumbani ama alikuwa na ugonjwa wowote ulikuwa na msumbu kwa mwili of which none of the above was true so akaniambia amepigiwa na jirani mak ako halima ututi ako kenyata sikumwambia mbam nimeambiwa mak ako halima ututi maana yeye mwenyewe alikuwa na develop pressure so nikamwambia tu atuwezi tukaenda kanisani hadi tujue hali ya Mark. And atukuwa imtembelea Mark kwa mama Kayan. Instead, Mark aliditembelea kwa ngupi tulikuwa na kaba badogo. Alikuja mara kadhaa na Irene na Jerry. So sikuwa na contact ya mtu yoyote huku. So I called Jeremy. Nikamuliza kama kuna namba ya mtu yoyote jirani akaniambia kuna namba ya church mates kaniambia ni mwambie mama Kayan anamtuma mtu aende amuone ye mwenyewe hakujua hata maka kuword gani jundi alikuwa anatoka Uganda so nikampigia Irene akanikamuliza Irene umeenda church akaniambia ndio nataka kuenda nikamuliza unaenda church na maka ameku admitted Kenya kaniambia biti hadi mipi ndio nimepata habari huko ndio naenda and nikampigia tena kushika baadaye akanipigia kaniambia ndiye anataka kuingia amuone nikamwambia we are worried sasa weka tu karibu na simu yako ukimuona utuambie sasa likawia kutupigia nikamuliza mamangu mam Irene alisema anaingia tu anatupigia mbona hajatupigia tukampigia pitia simu ya mam akashika lakini alikuwa analia nikamuliza Irene kwa nini ni mbaya akaniambia makabe paniki praise god hallelujah praise god amen hallelujah praise god amen poleni tena sana um while we were going on with the tributes a family of mark from ongata toek uh, also came i would request that you come up front uh, um marafiki wa mark kutoka ongata toek tunawaomba mkaribie mkuje mbele na kiongozi kionge, kiongozi wenu musa atatuongelesha na mama mama Esther Ochanda atatupe maombi uh, tumewakaribisha sana kujeni haraka kidogo uh, uh, because of time karibuni sana
is still on the way. He's on the way. Yes. yes. Wasafiri wa binguni. Bwana asifiwe. Tunamshukuru Mungu tunamshangilia. Kwa sababu maneno yote ya yanaenda sawa. Mungu ni mwenye mpangilio. Na hizo mpangilio zake hatuhusu. Mmesikia? Mimi nimekuja hapa jina langu linaitwa Esther Ochanda. Mshiriki katika hili kanisa na nataka kuchukua fursa hii kusema asanti kwa kanisa la Namanga kanisa Sabbath School ya Ngatataik na hasa Sabbath School ya Midenyi nimewaleta muone na macho kazi ya mak mimi nimeleta matunda muone na ma na macho Sijiu kama mliweka hizo mapicha muweze kuona ushuhuda na furaha maka likuwa nayo wakati uh, David alibatizwa wakati kijana mdogo huyo anaitwa John rika yake alibatizwa kwa kimile ya kimasai mzee akikubali kitu familia yote inakubali kwa sababu ya kazi hii njema kanisa hii ya South Church ikaungana na pale nyumbani saba school ya midenyi na nyumba ya pasta ambayo pasta alikuja pasta Ombori pasta mtoa wakuje walale huko wakifanya crusade walituma hawa vijana wakiongezwa wakiongozwa na mak na maku walifanya kazi najua mtakuja na nitasema kwa kifupi uh, Jared uh, Ochien ako wapi ha uh, Jared ndio kia ko huyu mwingine Jerry Jerry uko wapi Jeremiah Ochien uko hapa wakati huo Mark sijui mtu akiwa na usile na Mungu yake Mungu anamwonyeshaga vitu hata kama hakufikiria alikuwa akitoka na wacha huyu akiendelea na kazi akitoka na wacha huyu akiendelea na kazi eh hey, amewaacha ambassadors muendelee na kazi musilie ya, ku, ya kuzikwa na yeye hapana nyinyi muendelee na kazi Amen. mimi nitawacha hapo kabla sijaomba na huyu atatoa ushuhuda yake Oh, sema kwa dakika mbili mwenzetu Moses ambayo ndiye amepeana shamba pale kwa Masai bado ako kwa njia akikuja na ninajua atatupata na hajui na Robi kama Ezra ako hapa uwe ukiangalia simu akipiga mchukue hapo total south sea Mimi Yesu. Amen. Amen. Mimi Yesu Bwana asifiwe. Mimi naitwa David Mogolo. Nampenda Yesu. Yesu ni mkozi mwake wangu. Kijana huyu anaitwa Mark na rafiki yangu. Na mimi nimempenda sana. Nilipofika amekufa. Sijui nimekuwa na mimi gani. Nikasema mpaka nifikie niende ni wale ni kisha nijue kweli mkapo Praise God. Kama jina linaitwa John Tatio. Mkoka Kristo ni Bwana. Is my man kama maka alikuja huko midani sabasko for one week huja mali ni fundisha sana for sure i was in darkness patalinyo kwa mpaka alishuhudia baptism yangu jeremy maneno alikuwa ananiambia 
Siku wa mimi atakufa. Bariki. Amen. You have heard and you have seen. Sasa tukuna jukumu asanti. Sasa tukuna kujukumu kuendeleza kazi mzuri. Pastor Tupes najua ali wasiliana na pastor. Aha, akatuma rambi rambi kutoka huko midenyi. Tuko pamoja. Tuvute pamoja. Kazi bado iko. Mama Mark. Yesu alisema e siku ile alikuwa anakufa. Alisema Nyinyi mlinde mama na nimesikia msichana wako akisema hivi. Hawa vijana wote huko peke yako, hawa watoto ni wako. Waombe vile ulikuwa naombea Mark. Na naomba e, vijana muwe mkikumbuka mama Mark. Mama ya mwenzako ni mama yako. Na mtoto ya mwenzako ni mtoto wako. Na shukuru na tutaomba. Tutasimama ili tupate ombi. Baba Mungu. Wewe ni baba, tena Mungu mwana, tena Mungu roho mtakatifu. Pamoja ni moja. Tunashukuru na tunatukuza jina lako. Umetupa nafasi ya kuja na kuingia katika hili kanisa. Ili tushirikiane pamoja. Kukushukuru kwa kutupa Mark. Tunakumbuka Mark kwa matendo yake mema. E baba hiyo roho ulipatia Mark utujaze nayo. Tunaomba baba Mkumbushe Irene ya kwamba unampenda sana na hungeweza kumnyang'anya Mark kama ulijua itakuwa mwisho ya imani yake. Uliona ni vizuri wa wachane kwa njia hii kwa sababu ulijua maisha yake na utamuongoza na hata anguka kwa sababu ndani yako hakuna kuanguka. Ulijua Mark ni mtoto mmoja. Na Yesu alikuwa mtoto mmoja na tunasemaga kwa jinsi hii Mungu alipenda ulimwengu akatoa mwana wake wa pekee ili atakaye amini asikufe lakini apate uzima wa milele hiyo uzima wa milele iwe ya mama Mark na jamii yote na jamii ya washirika ambassadors give them the spirit to be ambassadors of Christ wherever they are kwa sababu tumejua 
kuna kikundi inaimba sana inaitwa ambassadors of christ wenzao walikufa na wajawacha hiyo imani wanaendelea na shetani ananguka huko tunashukuru hii imani you are the author and finisher of our faith strengthen us in mani chako yiye kuomwa in mibro tieko yiye wanie wan podwa bedo jo wothe pinti chwa pokoru mo marlanda watch mari njili mi wachia mi waroho e pinyi ni wan gi chandro okti wacho no niki kwa luor nike chisalo ya pinyi mi wachir nitindo gi woyo kai wak inge yi wak gi kendi kano pe wangi nya sachwa mi yo gi mwacho ta me no ta mo meri gi mwach to meri no di nyime mi ni yesu no di nyime gi ye kendo bro be de polo nyari o di nyime gi ye men max yako be de polo malo to jo mamoko be no chuoyo ko di maber mari ye ei nyati ei nyitindo kaka gi wuoyo ko di no med nyol re ni kech ine mi nyalo timo kamano ero kamano weche tema wati moka a nyaka waiki yote tutokayo fanya baba mpaka tuzike pali pake pa kupumzika baba tunaomba tukitoka kuzika tuendelee na kazi yako kwa sababu tunaamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu amen Thank you mama. Thank you. Poleni sana kwa marafiki. Uh, allow me now to bring to us uh, our pastor Pastor Otula to say a word on behalf of the pastorate. Then after him I'll not come back to the stage. I'll let El Daundieki to proceed with the next uh, program. Pastor Karibu. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Uh as you've been told, my name is Pastor Nikan Rotula. I serve in Northeast Kenya field, the field which has its headquarters in Meru. And I serve at the universities and colleges around Mount Kenya East. I was a, an associate pastor here. I served here with Pastor Paul Mwangi. And uh, I must say that uh, when I served here, I had good moments. And especially with this brother of mine who has now slept. Mark Rabongo I can remember that morning it was must have been on Sunday morning when my wife came to the bedroom I was still asleep she came with a Mark's photo asking me dear do you know this gentleman and I without thinking I told him I know him that is Mark Rabongo Imagine he has slept. I was really very shocked and I was lost of words. Um because I want to tell you that Mark was an inspiration to me. The very first time that Mark stepped to Nairobi South Church, Mark reported to my office up there. I hope the office is still up there for the associate pastor. He introduced himself and he told me what he was up to. Um there is something that Mark told me that really touched me considering his age. He told me that pastor I want to drop my studies go and study theology to become a pastor 
for a moment I will kept quiet because uh, now sometimes students, especially from the University of Nairobi, some, when they tell you such a thing, you think that sometimes they have gone to the very extreme. Why would one want to drop his studies to go and study theology? And so we, we prayed that day, and after prayer, I told Mark, Mark, the idea you have is a noble one, and it's a heaven-born idea, because God wants us to serve in any, at any level. God, wants, God has given us different gifts which we must utilize to tell people to propagate the gospel of God. And I have no doubt that, Mark, you have a call to be a pastor. And uh, I've told him that, I also told him that I really think if the call will, is there, it will stay with you. And it will, it will be wise if you first of all finish your studies, then after you finish your studies, you will go and study theology. Because then you will be even more effective because you will, shall be having two degrees with you. Mark heard me and uh, as he was leaving, he told me that he wanted to go to the baptismal class, the baptismal class that LMI was talking about. I told him that's okay. And I requested him that, Mark, I can see you've got the spirit of Christ. I want you to help me one thing. At that time, we were just coming up with the youth, and especially the ambassadors. We were trying to build ourselves up. And I told Mark, Mark, after your baptism, I want you to go and get into the ambassadors. We want to work with you so that you can help bring up this, this the, I mean, you can, we can bring, come up together as the ambassadors group. And that is exactly what Mark did. And even after I got it, my transfer, Mark kept in touch with me, except maybe for the last one year when we have not been in touch. And I, say, I can say that Mark was really, really very passionate about God, about the mission and the purpose of God on this earth, which I believe for sure um, we, may, we may cry. We may cry because Mark has died at a time that we never expected. But the truth is that, like El Logeto said, it does not matter how many years one lives on this earth. What matters is, did you live to fulfill the purpose of God in your life? And I want to believe, ladies and gentlemen, Mark lived to fulfill the purpose of God in his life. Even as he rests, I want to remind you of a text. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, and I will read Revelation 14, verse 13. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Write, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. I trust that Mark has lived to fulfill his purpose. It does not matter probably what has caused his death. Death is a power that is reigning and is taking anything that is alive. Mark has met his death in such a cruel manner, but the truth is it is death that has taken him. But I believe it has not taken him when he has not fulfilled the purpose of God. He has fulfilled the purpose of God. When the time for Jesus came, he was betrayed. 
by one of his very, very disciples. But nevertheless, he died. But the difference that is there, the death of Jesus, the death of a saint, the death of anyone who has acknowledged and accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, is that their death is a blessed death because they await a morning of resurrection. Let us be encouraged. We may have questions, but the Lord, I want to tell you, the Lord is with us. The Lord was watching. At some point, Peter felt that Jesus was accepting too much of suffering and he needed to protect Jesus. Jesus told him, get behind me. Get behind me. At some point on the cross, he was really praying and, and really, I mean, he was so much remorseful. And the disciples of Jesus felt like God should do something in order to prevent the death of Jesus. But Jesus asked him one question. Don't you think that I am able to call all the hosts of heaven, <laughs> to call all the hosts of heaven to come and stand with me so that I don't die? And then they were able to learn the lesson. I want to say this. Regardless of the cause of the death, God knows the manner in which Marcus died and he was able to prevent it. But he never prevented it. He allowed it to happen for his own good and for his own purposes. May the Lord help us as we mourn and come to terms with the death of our brother. May the Lord console each and every one of us. And this is a challenge to each one of us. And especially to my ambassador's group. Mark has left a gap. Which God knows how, to, how he's going to fill. And the, how he's going to fill that gap. The person who's going to fill that gap. Is you who is in the ambassador's group. May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus name. Time is much spent, and uh, we may wish to, could be when we've been in the kingdom, time eternally will give those testimonies. Uh, Pastor, it reminds me, when you've said this, it reminds me the contradiction that was between heaven and earth when Stephen was dying. Earth is crying and asking, who killed Stephen? Heaven is rejoicing and saying, we have conquered. What a joyous day it will be, my sister. When that bright morning, when whoever, we said, whoever did it, will be in the kingdom because Mark slept. It's my prayer. That is what has been consoling me. I want to ask that uh, we don't go to the scripture reading. We ask Pastor Mutua, pray for him. He's as weak as you are, that he speaks to us the word of God. Then we move to the next level. Pastor Mutua. He will read the scriptures for himself. Na wasalimia katika jina la Yesu Christo wa mjambo. Mjambo tena. Familia... Mungu wa fariji. Najua ni wakati mugumu. Maswali yapo. Sina majibu. Lakini mungu wa na majibu. Na mimi na Mark tulikuwa marafiki. From the time I came here, we have been working together with Mark. Whenever I'm in the office and he is around, he will just pop in and he tell me, Pastor, I've just come over so that we may pray together. When I shared with the, when we went to Gatatwek with the elder Ontieki and we came and I shared the idea of mission at Gatatwek with Mark, he told me we have to go there. And I remember the first Sabbath, they visited there. 
worshipped with the members there. When they came back, then Sister Esther called me and they requested that they go for three days of, of a seminar. We shared with Mark and then he was like, I, I think it's not possible we can postpone it to next year. Then after one day he called me and he told me, we are going. I've known Mark to be a servant of God, a man of God, loyal, dependable, committed to God's work. He is a man who has inspired many, a man who has touched many lives and impacted lives for Christ. As much as we mourn, as much as we cry, for me, I'm sure of one thing. I will meet Mark in that glorious morning. It is certain, it is certain that Mark slept in the Lord. The question remains and the challenge remains for you and me who are alive today. A lot has been said about the young man who has just slept. What will be said of Pastor Mutua when I sleep? What legacy will I have left behind when I sleep? It is my prayer for us who are here this evening that the spirit of God which was in Mark may be in us so that we may serve the Lord when we are alive. We may serve the Lord when we have the strength and the figure to serve him. You know, when I was sitting here, I could remember the position where our late brother would sit. He used to sit here with a notebook and a Bible. And looking at the spot, the seat is empty. It reminds me of a time in the book of First Samuel, the book of First Samuel, chapter 20, verse 18 and 19. The book of First Samuel, chapter 20, verse 18 and 19. It records of two friends, Jonathan and David. And after God had used David to bring victory to the camp of Israel. Then Saul started looking for, his, for David's life to kill him. And after many struggles, the friendship he had with Jonathan, when Jonathan knew that it was the night that this young man, David, was to be killed, he shared the secret with him. And he records these words. It says, Then Jonathan said to David, Tomorrow is the new moon, and you will be missed, because your seat will be empty. 19. And when you have stayed three days, go down quickly and come to the place where you hid on that day of the dead, and remain by the stone of Israel. Jonathan is sharing crucial information with David. And the crucial information he is sharing with him ends with the words, your seat will be empty. To the Daniels, who I know you have walked close with Mark. To the Abastas, who I know Mark has walked close with you. The youth the church, the family, and friends who are here. The spot of Mark will remain empty in our lives. The space he held in our lives will remain empty in this life. And as men have said, God saw it coming and he allowed it to happen. It reminds me of a story written in the book of John. 
The book of John chapter 11 records of uh, a story about Lazarus and his two sisters. Lazarus was a very, very, very close friend to Jesus. I can call him a servant of God who always would have Jesus come to their home and they would serve and minister to him. And as we know the story, it records that he fell sick. And the sisters, the only place they knew they will take refuge and at the place where they knew they could get help where for them to send for Jesus Christ. They knew him as the Messiah. They knew him as the greatest physician. They knew him as the savior. But when they sent for him, it took long to come. And when he came, it was late because already Lazarus was dead. The spot where they used to know when Jesus Christ comes, Lazarus would see it, the spot was empty. The seat of Lazarus was empty. And they had questions. Why did Jesus Christ allow it to happen? Why was he late to come and heal our brother? And after all, we have been ministering to him. By the way, and I can see the kind of questions and the doubts they had in their minds. And then after three, year, three days, Jesus tells the disciples, let us go. He is just asleep. We wake him up. And the disciples are like, are you Ikosawa? And they walk with him. And when Jesus Christ approached the home, verse 17 of the book of John, chapter, 17, chapter 11, verse 17, says, so when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb. And Mary, mother, knew of it, verse 20. Now mother, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house, 21. Now mother said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. And this is the pain each and every one of us has this evening. That God, you saw it you are, and you knew. Why did you allow it to happen? Where could you have held the hands of those people? Mother comes slowly and tells him, Jesus, Lord, we know you have the power. You have the ability. Where did, did you come when we sent for you? Because we knew with your presence, our brother would be alive. But now look, his pot is empty. His seat is empty. Even if when we talk, we take you to the room where we have been dining with you, his seat is empty because he is dead. Four days buried. 22 says, But even now I know I am the resurrection and the life. Amen. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. I am happy because our brother who has slept, slept believing in the Lord. Slept believing in Jesus Christ who was speaking to Martha. And she said to Martha, Martha, I am resurrection. I am life. In other words, she's telling mother, whatever happens after this life is dependent on me. 
whatever will take place in that day you are speaking of the future, all is about me. Brothers and sisters, as we journey through this life, where is our belief? Who do we believe in? I remember when Paul is speaking to the church at Rome, Romans chapter 8, he reminds them, brothers and sisters, let nothing in this life, be it death, be it hunger, separate you from the love of God. Let nothing hinder the belief you have in God. Why? Because the belief which we have in Jesus Christ is a belief which assures us, yes, the spots of mark in our lives will remain empty. But in that resurrection morning, he who has the authority of that resurrection, he who has the authority of life in eternity, he says that beautiful morning, our brother Mark will be resurrected because he slept in the Lord. The lives we are living in Painful as it is, leaving us with heartaches, wounds, and scars. To the family, as you mourn, as you cry, I want to remind us one thing. Uyu Yesu Christo anaguzwa na machozi yetu. Alipo karibiana na Martha. Na Mary kalipo sikia kakiwa uko ndani kwamba Yesu Kristo amekuja. Wailing and running at the feet of Jesus. Crying then with all this pain. And when the multitude saw Jesus, na wawa ganza kuzema, haja, na vile alikuwa na mpenda, siangalikuwa hapa, asingalikufa. With this pain, Jesus wept. Because he is touched by our grief. Kristo huyu, mam, anaguzwa na uchungu wako. Machozi yako anayaona. Na Daudi anapo andika kuhusu huyu Yesu Kristo katika kitabu cha Zaburi. Zaburi amsini na sita. Anaandika akizungumzia machozi ambayo tunayalia. Anazungumza machozi ambayo yanatutoka. Kwa maana ni Kristo anayeguzwa na uchungu na machozi yetu. Daudi amsini na sita mstari wa nane anaandika akisema, You number my wanderings. You put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Kristo huyu tunaye mzungumzia anajua mifadhaiko yetu. The sisters of Mark Beatrice and Perpetua, machozi tunayopitia, Kristo anayasabu. Uchungu tunayopitia, anaweka katika kitabu chake. Ikiwa ni ishara ya kuja kwake, atakuwa na rekodi ya mapito tulio kuwa tunapitia katika dunia hii. And if we remain faithful and believing in him, ndiyo atasema, Johnny, kwangu mulio choka na maisha ulimwengu to the family this is the christ and this is the god i'm submitting to you aize kusimama na nyinyi aize kuatia joto na kuwakamilisha katika imani zenu ili katika asubuhi hiyo njema ambayo wafu waliolala ndani ya kristo watakapofufuliwa ndugu yetu mtoto wenu ndugu yenu mark akiwa ni mmoja wenu atanasi asubuhi njema muweze kuwa katika kundi hilo kundi ambalo litapanguzwa machozi na Yesu Kristo huyu akizungumza na wanafunzi wake katika hii kitabu hicho cha Yohana kwa sababu anapozungumza na wanafunzi hawa na baada ya kuzungumza na Martha 
na Mariamu in the pain they were in he speaks them with, to them words of hope and he reminds them yes in this life you will be faced with death in this life as you soldier on death is real in our lives we will face it and all of us who are here Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5 he said those who are alive know they will die but when those spaces those seats those pots have been left empty where is our hope chapter 14 chapter 14 Jesus is he was speaking to Peter said let your heart be not be troubled you believe in God believe also in me too in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you three and if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am there you may be also Christ is reminding us as we walk in this world as we walk in this life our hearts will be troubled we will have a lot of pain a lot of heartache but he reminds us he went to prepare a place for us. Everybody who is here has a spot in his kingdom. And I'm happy because my brother Mark believed in this Christ who went to prepare a place for him and a place for you and a place for me. And because he died in the Lord, that spot, when Christ comes back to take us home, he will occupy his spot. His pot will remain empty here on earth. But there is assurance when Christ comes back the second time, he will occupy his pot in heaven. The challenge is for you and for me. Will we be faithful enough when Christ comes back the second time to occupy our spots, our seats in heaven? May God enable us by his power because when you read in the book of Hebrews the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 15 but I'm in need of verse 16 he says in as much then as children have partaken of flesh and blood he himself, Christ, likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death. That is the devil. Christ took our form to conquer what we could not conquer. Christ took our form to overcome what we could not overcome that's the enemy death verse 15 and release those who through fear of death we are all lifetime subject to bondage 16 for indeed he does not give help to angels but he gives help to the seed of Abraham. Christ did not die on the cross to help the angels. He died on the cross to help you and me. To help us overcome death and then have the assurance of life in eternity. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, Christ who died for us, who resurrected and now is alive in heaven, is reminding us 
that when he comes back the second time, he will come for those who believe in him. When he comes, whether we are alive or dead, will we be found faithful before him? And to those who are, he has given help, Paul in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 54, but I'm interested in verse 55, he says, as I finish. So when this corruptible was put on in, corrupt, in corruption, and this motto was put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. When Christ has come for those who died believing him, those who will be alive and also believe in him, then these bodies which are prone to death, with these bodies which are prone to decaying, he says, he will transform us never to decay again. He will transform us never to face death again because he conquered an enemy who we could not conquer. He had overcome an enemy which we could not have overcome on our own. And he says, when he comes, we will be changed. And when we have been changed, as we go home to occupy our seats, to meet our brother Mark, then he says, death will be swallowed up in victory which he did on the cross. And then the saints will mock death. Oh, when we were young boys growing up, we will call each other. And after playing and someone has been uh, has lost or those fights of young boys and then you, one has lost, you start mocking them. And this will be the mocking we'll do to death. Because we'll ask, oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? This is the day I'm looking forward to. May God enable me to continue believing. May God enable you to continue believing. Because that bright money, we will mock death. Because its power will have been done away with because God through Christ conquered on the cross. As we mourn, may we mourn in faith. May we mourn knowing that there is a bright morning where Christ when he comes, we will meet our brother Mark never to part again. It's my prayer to the family that God continues upholding you in faith. Mungu wa shikilie mami katika imani. Utembe ukimuamini zaidi ya vila ambavyo likuwa na muamini. Ili iyo asubui jema ukutane na mchoto wako alie kufa akimuamini Yesu Christo. Na hapo ndipo tutakikejeli kifo tukikiuliza. Kifo uwapi uchungu wako. E kaburi ziwapi nguvu zako kwa maana tutakuwa tumekutana na mshindi wetu mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Mungu atubariki Tuombe Baba na Mungu wetu Tunakushukuru kwa kutukumbushia ya kwamba katika maisha haya we will have a lot of empty seats, empty spaces, empty spots in our lives. Because death is an enemy and he will always face us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus Christ who died on the cross to conquer and overcome an enemy who we could not have done it on ourselves. And therefore, I pray for each one of us who is here in your house this evening. By the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, may you help us to continue believing in you so that when you come back the second time, 
we will be part of the great multitude you will take us home. Dear Heavenly Father, we know you have prepared a place for us where death will be no more, a place where we will not sorrow. And because we have a spot for each one of us, Lord, those of us who are here, may you enable us to walk faithfully, to continue believing in you, so that when that bright morning comes, the morning of resurrection, we will be with you to occupy the spots you have prepared for us. May your blessings be upon us, in Jesus' name, amen. At this particular time, I just request the family to come up front so that we may offer a dedication prayer to you. Familia, kwa unyenyekevu, na waomba muweze kuja hapa ju, ili tuweze kuwaombea ombi la kipeke, mungu waendele kuwa washikilia at the same time nikiomba wazee wa kanisa walio miongoni mwetu all the ordained elders waweze kuja ili tuweze kuizingira familia hii tunapoiweka mikononi mwa Mungu the ordained elders kindly familia tafadhali as the family moves forward we'll do song number 50 the SDA hymn as I request Pastor Ambori to come and offer the dedication prayer. Abide with me fast for the familia ni wakati mgumu katika maisha yao na maswali mengi yaliyo katika mioyo yetu na wao pia kama familia hayachipu kwa wakati ambao unafaa tunaikabidi familia katika utawala katika uongozi wa Yesu Kristo ambaye ndiye bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yetu tuamini na pia mwakumbuke familia katika maombi tuombe Baba wetu na Mungu wetu unayetupenda Kuna wakati mwingine upendo wako unakuwa ni mgumu kueleweka katika mawazo ya binadamu Maswali yaliyo katika mioyo yetu kuhusu ndugu yetu Mark ambaye ulimuruhusu akapumzika waomba ukayachipu kwa wakati ufaao na saidi muno utushikirie katika imani imani kama ile ya shujaa Mark aliyokuwa nayo akajitolea na akafanya kazi yako ukamtumia katika uongozi katika kanisa ukamtumia katika kueneza injiri na pia hata kutumika kwa njia nyingi sana kwa utukufu wa china lako tunasema china lako litukuzwe kwa maana kwa hekima zako 
ukaona ni vyema apumzike kutoka shida, eh, shida na taabu za dunia hii kwa njia ya kipekee tunaikabidi familia mikononi mwako wakapate faraja za kipekee mama Margaret Akinyi mtoto wake wa kipekee mtoto wake wa kiume na dada zake Mark Heraina Amoron Beatrice Akinyi na Papecho Akinyi tunawakabidi mikononi mwako ni wakati mgumu katika maisha yao lakini kifo cha maki kisiche kikawatenge na upendo wako Biblia inaulisa ni nini kitakacho kututenga na upendo kama kuna kitu kifo cha maki kitafanya katika familia hii ni kwamba wewe uwe mtawara katika maisha yao uwe kiongozi katika familia hii uwe msaada hata saidi vida ambavyo Mark angefanya hata kama angeishi miaka na miaka katika dunia hii kwa njia ya kipekee ulinde imani ya familia hii watoto wa dada zake mabwana za dada zake the inros the cousins aunties uncles na pia familia ya kanisa na familia zote ambazo alitangamana nazo tuomba utulindie imani yetu sisi sote ili vile ambavyo neno lako limetuelekeza na kutupea faraja tukawe katika ule mchi utakaporudi utakapomtoa na kumuita Mark Mark na atoke kaburini na sisi tuwe katika lile kundi kubwa litakapo kuraki tuingie mbinguni mahali ambapo kifo dhambi uchungu mateso kutsononeka na kulia avita kuepo asante Mungu kwa maana utachipu maombi ya kila mmoja wetu kuhusu familia hii vile ambavyo umewashikilia hata baada ya masiko <coughs> usidi kuwashikilia mama akutama, akutazamie akuangalie kama mwokozi na pia kimbilio na, na msaada katika maisha yake saidi muno safari ambayo iliyo mbele yetu wana familia hawa na familia zingine zote zile zilizo hapa na wengine watakao toka maeneo mengine tutakapoelekea nyumbani kesho na wengine watasafiri pengine friday na safari ya mwisho na saidi muno siku ile ya friday wakati ambapo ijumaa mak atarazwa mahali pa kupumzika akingochea tarumbeta ya mwana tuwaomba uwashikirie na uwapee nguvu uchipu maswali yao uwe pamoja na wao uwe pamoja nasi tuwaomba vyote ututendee chinsi upendavyo na pia saidi muno uwashikirie kwa njia ya kipekee kwani tuwaomba tukiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye mwokozi na bwana wa maisha yetu Amen. Amen. Asante. Asante wase kwa kufika na pia familia. Mungu awashikirie mam uh, Margaret, Mungu asidi kukupea nguvu na tumaini katika maisha. Uzima wa milele ni wako na pia Mark vile tumehakikishiwa anao uzima wa milele. Asante na Mungu awabariki katika jina la Yesu tumeomba tukiamini. Amen. Thank you so much. For with thee. Jesus, 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 Does Jesus care? Sing. Does Jesus care when my heart is faint too deeply for mirth and song? As the burdens press and the cares distress and the way grows weary and long. When the 
so much Christus. Uh, this brings us to the tail end of our program this afternoon, evening. Want to want to assure the highway high school that uh, you'll continually be served and uh, as Pastor said that the seat is empty the Lord will fill the seat and you will be served. Behind, uh, behind Mark, there were those who were hid behind him. Uh, Elder Nyanumba. Eldongwai, where are you? Eldongwai, I saw you. Please uh, stand and wave. Elder Penny Eldongwai. Uh, sorry, Eldongwai, because he came with the books that were to be taken part of it to schools. When he left them here, before they were picked to be dropped and supplied, Mark is no more. But you will be served. These are the people behind the service of the schools uh, and other departments. The Lord will provide and it will be well. I uh, want to thank all of you for finding time to come. That we could encourage one another and mourn together even as we have been prepared for the coming kingdom. We want to thank all those who the Lord for allowing you to travel safely, those who traveled. We want to thank the Lord for traveling from Mombasa, both Mombasa and, uh, and Nyanza. We want to thank the friends of Mark who came. Thank you, Iway, for coming once again. And we want to ask those of you who are here, the administrations, please, go back. as you go back, say, give our gratitude to the administration, allowing you as students to come. Uh, for your information, the highway students will not travel with us to Nyanza because that's what we had agreed with them. That is, uh, let it be known to all of us. Uh, we want to thank the Nairobi South Church, different clusters, uh, the way you've organized yourself to make this a success to where it is. There is we'll not bring Mark back but at least you've done what you could do. The children's ministry, the uh, ambassadors, the youth, the ammo, the women ministry, and all those who are in a, a unique cluster that wasn't in our church another time, we want to thank all of you. We want to thank the family uh, of Mark under the leadership of uh, Elder Jerry that uh, we have worked hand in hand to the point we have reached. We want to thank the family of uh, uh, um, Aurora, yeah, where Mark uh, uh, was, where we knew Mark from, and the way they brought him up. We want to pray that may the Lord comfort you and feel free, and uh, may the impact that Mark brought your home and your family remain firm, and may it do something as Christ comes someday. Uh, we want to thank the church and the pastorate uh, from far and near who have come and they have, they have served us this time. 
want to thank the people who came from Gatatoek. May the Lord be with you. And let's continue being one army in this, uh, in this uh, uh, fight that we are in. want to bring these announcements to all of us so that we'll be aware from here we will wait upon the master guides to guide us as we'll go out. So they will go out first, then we'll follow them to the tent where they will be viewing. And after we finish the viewing, we'll do a prayer. And thereafter the prayer, the master guides will put the body back to the, to the ass, and the body will be taken back to the mock. And uh, we have changed the, we are not going back to Kenyatta, uh, Kenyatta, uh, private mog. We are going to uh, we are going to Montezuma. That's where we will go to, and that is where we will meet tomorrow morning. Uh, pray and depart, going home tomorrow. As the body leaves to Montezuma this evening, we will want to ask that all of us uh, gather together at Montezuma at 7 a.m. and we want to give you the time of departing from Montezuma. 7 a.m. or earlier than that, we are departing from Montezuma at 8.30. So if you are late there beyond 8.30, you've remained if you are depending on the church means. And remember, only those who had given in their names. Those who will go in the church means the bus will be here tomorrow morning at 6 in the morning. And around, around that time, between the time it will leave here and be at Montezuma, if you are late, you are left. So the bus will be here at 6 in the morning. The master guides will load what they will want to load in it, and shortly after it will leave. We will travel from 8.30 by God's grace, until the time we'll be at home, and we pray that we'll be there early enough. I want to ask that all of us cooperate as we travel. Our coordinators are uh, Nelson Ogalo, Nelson, at the door, the master guide leader, uh, Cleopas Chebu, who spoke here, the youth leader, he left, and then Ramona Apio. Where are you, Ramona? Ramona Pio, she's out, and uh, many of us from the church know them. Those are the coordinators. If you miss the coordinators, please try and get the coordinators. Uh, they will have those who will commanding them, because them they will be under commands, and that is Elder Evan Soyeyo and Elder Ondieki. So, uh, from there, there will be commands from home. That is why I'm saying them, they will depend on commands. So from home, a command will be given. And finally, by God's grace, we will be back to Nairobi uh, after the burial. I want to ask, where is Jerry? Jerry, the young man, where is my friend? He's out. Uh, Jerry, please come very quickly so that there are those who will want to drive going home. How do we reach home? That is the only thing Jerry is giving us thereafter. The com master guide commander, please take stage. Uh, uh, good evening. Uh, how are you? I'm Jeremy Cheng. I want to give clarification on how you'll reach home for those who will travel home maybe tonight, tomorrow, or whichever day. So if you're in Nairobi, you travel or you take a car or a bus to Homer Bay, Homer Bay County. Once you're in Homer Bay County, for those who reach Homer Bay County, you can take a, a Boda Boda up to Asumbi. That's around uh, 150 shillings. Once you're in Asumbi, you need to inquire where is Kakremba, Kakremba village, Kakremba village. So from Asumbi to Kakremba village will be 50 shillings. But if you come from the direction of uh, Kisi, that is if you leave Nairobi and then you want to use that route of Kisi without uh, passing through Homer Bay, once you are in Kisi, 
insist to follow the Suneka route. Once you are in Suneka, go up to Asumbi. There's a tarmac there that can lead you from Nairobi to Asumbi. There's a tarmac. Once you are at Asumbi, the best landmark is Asumbi Girls High School. Okay, thank you. There's, uh, the best landmark is Asumbi Girls High School. Once you're at Asumbi Girls High School, you can still take 50 shillings to home. Those who also want to alight, I'm also being reminded, those who want to alight at Rodi, Rodi Kopan. There's another place, Rodi Kopan. You can also take a bus from Nairobi to Rodi Kopan, a very clear route from Nairobi to Rodi Kopan. Once you're at Rodi Kopan, take 150 shillings to Nyopuge. Are we in agreement? Tunaelewana? Yeah. Take 150 shillings to Nyopuge. Once you are at Nyopuge, you are within the village. You'll be able to get uh, the rumors of where there's a funeral. Thank you very much. And may God bless you even as you plan to travel. For those who are uh, uh, IT team, those who will go early, they will give you a pin and you follow that to the home. Commander. Once again, good evening, everyone. Thank you for your patience. We would want to ask that we use the same order in which we came in. Uh, we will have the master guides lead, carrying the portrait, so I'll ask them to fall in. And then uh, we'll be followed by the family members, Jodala, Obro Kwao, Mama, Ginyige, Bro Bang, Master Guides, Castro Bangu, Obro Bedogi Pastors, the, the clergy will lead. After the family, the clergy should come after them. And then we want to ask for a few minutes that allow us to leave to the door so that we guide you on the viewing kindly. You've been patient enough and we thank you so much. Kindly just hold your host for a few minutes so that we are able to give our friend a befitting send-off. So I want to ask the pastors to come over. Please come.